boy George Billionaire and you're listening to Cappy Talk 100.4 FM Harare's Heartbeat with yours truly Becky K. It is 20 minutes past 12 o'clock on Cappy Talk 100.4 FM. Hey man, it feels so good to be back, especially on a Monday coming through to listen to what George has to say. On, the, uh, on this Monday's edition of Hustle Hard. And we are talking about unleashing your potential and not just a little bit of your potential, like your full potential. This is what we are going to try and wrap around in the next uh, 40 or so minutes. And hopefully we'll be able to make like a great exchange. We'll be able to to give information and also receive information. We would like to know where it is that you are and what help it is that you are going to need. So the number that you're going to get in touch with us is 0719-10404. That's 0719-10404. Kuneva ku complain $99 for a family of four for Father's Day. Or is it Daddy's Day out? I am sad. $99. You cannot put a price on spending time with your family. So, Yeah. Make it plan. Make a plan. Make it work. So today we're talking unleashing your potential with George a Billionaire. George, welcome to Capital Work. Becky K, what's good? I am excited. As always, greetings to Capital Talk Family 100.4 FM, the That's best right. place to be on a Monday. Mm-hmm. And, you know, the best place you can spend, you know, um, that early, early, early week and get your grind on. And we're here, as always, to PIE. This is the pie factory. We're here to cook those people up. We're here to provoke, to inspire, and equip people so that they can be the best version that Elohim, the most God, Mm. created. It always goes back to him at the end of the day, right? That's right. That's right. So today, Becky K., we're talking about potential. Mm-hmm. And you know, um, unleashing your potential. And potential is with no zikana nawa zinji. Kutiri ko asa ndufungo tuwa zinji vano ziva what potential actually is. Come on, take us there. And I think we're gonna break it down a little bit. Kuto ano wanzui si se kuto no change no zipo potential iti chim. And the proper definition of potential is um, having. You know, if somebody is taking notes, it's important because um, I think do take your notes, yo. Take it's Im- your it's notes. important. It's good to hear this, <laughs> and uh, you know, it's important. You can always go and watch it live on the Facebook page, you mm. Talk. But take notes because when, whatever you write down, you Stay constantly you. meditate on, That's and it. you know, it'll actually become reality. So, potential is having or showing the ability to vet to develop into something into the in the future. Let me bring that back again. Potential is having or showing the ability to develop into something in the future. So a lot of people talk about, ah, this guy has potential. Ah, Becky K has potential to be a great this, that, and the other. But then a lot of people died yeah. with potential. potential. And potential is always taken in the context of men. Why? I actually He's, don't. Ah, murumu, and the potential. <laughs> you, 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 you hardly ever hear them say, oh, that woman has great potential. Wh- why is it always like the men are targeted? I, I why are you dating him? No, he's got potential. Mm, mm, mm. Well, know, I, I guess, I guess I because know. men are supposed to be the, the, the leaders. Guess, you know, so potential is that. So potential is, ha- is or having or showing the ability to become something in the future. Mm-hmm. And everybody who was created by God has potential. Everybody. Now, you know, one thing um, and a simple example I will give is that um, there's no way a seed, a maize seed inside the packet of a maize seed can ever become maize unless it is planted. And majority of us have become so content with, you know, being where we're at and you have so much potential. But the fear of getting into the soil, of getting dirty, of, you know, doing something has held us from becoming mm-hmm our full potential now there's an amazing quote by miles monroe an amazing man you know one person who really motivated me at a young age and he spoke about potential he's actually got a book on unleashing your potential and uh, he said that the richest place on planet earth is the graveyard because potential and he said no matter what happens on this life you have to make sure that you die empty don't mm. die full. 
you know, and, and it goes on to, to, to talk about, and I look at my life, and I look um, when I began pro M. Yeah. One thing about me, Kwandai Shand, and then, ah, this guy is a great sales guy. He's got so much, you know, zeal, and he loves what he does. Mm-hmm. But I remember one guy who came up to me and said, ah, young man, you should actually start a business. Because when potential, you with a boy's power, you want and you become great. Wow. Yeah. And and for me, because of fear, and majority of people are listening, yeah. it's not the fear. It's a big one. False evidence appearing yeah. real limits people to actually becoming their full potential that God created them to be. And um, until I began to actually listen. Now, you know, one of the greatest ways to tell if you are great at something, and uh, I did this uh, exercise with my mentorship program, and uh, there are a lot of entrepreneurs out there and wannabe entrepreneurs who say, ah, George, and this is what I should do. Mm-hmm. And I say, do this. Mm-hmm. Do this very simple exercise. Write on your status. Write on your Facebook. Ask 10 people, what things do you think I am good at? And, you know, it, it's so surprising how potential, but as an individual, People will tell you, wow, you're, you're, I love the way you are encouraging people. I like the way you, you know, you sell anything. I like the way you're a people person. I like the way you are, you know everybody. Mm-hmm. And behind this is not our one is actually where your golden treasure lies. But because you're just doing it and you're not realizing, wait a minute, I can actually yeah. use this, what is so-called potential. If and I focus this. on this, <laughs> I can actually make something out of it mm-hmm. you know so majority of people have died with their potential because vanochka and a simple way to get information about what you're good at is to ask people mm-hmm. you know for me i asked and I, I was told and then so many other people then said you know what um in order for you to be great in business um surround yourself with these people and etc and and one of the things that hinders people for them to become great and remain in a comfort zone mm-hmm. is people Hanging around, we spoke about this last time. When you hang around with chickens, your potential is also a chicken level. A chicken level. Yeah. So, so you will never actually become great. And you know, there's a simple example. Imagine me playing um, a video game with my son, or me playing basketball versus my son. It's going to be unfair advantage. But once you have potential, you get to a certain level, and then you compete with somebody who is at your level. And then guess what? Once you get to that level, mm-hmm. the greatest trap with people, say, once you get comfortable in a certain level, you know, um, and, and, and it's you, nice and you, in that place. No, eh? it, it's nice, but guess what? Yeah. Life has stages. If you look at, the, I, I like Oliver Mtukudzi once when he released his album. He mm-hmm. said, wow, this is your greatest album of all times. And he said, you know, compliments like that will make somebody bask in the sun and think mm-hmm. they've achieved. I'm, over relaxing. No, I have arrived. They think, wow, I've made it. And that pit stop is going to delay you instead of actually pushing you to go further. Saka this, that, and the other. Go to a place where your potential can actually be expanded and grow and then be the least of those people. That way your potential will consistently be provoked to become greater. I've said before that the, the, the one way to, you know, you don't know how poor you are until you go to a rich man's house. Come on. A- and you'll you find that a majority of people have only been to Kumarain and they think, wow, that's the house. But then your mindset, and I say this all the time, a person who is exposed is the greatest person on earth because they have seen something that other people haven't seen. Mm -hmm. And it's the same thing with potential. Once you get to a certain level and you see what's above you, Mm -hmm. you're going to be provoked to actually say, wait a minute, but I want to go there. And you're not going to bask in the sun. Right. And you're going to keep on going and going. But majority of people, you know, they, they hold themselves back. They don't ever release their full potential because they're comfortable. Because they, they think that, you know what? This is this is where I'm at. And you'll never become what God purposed you to be. That's true. If you don't fully utilize your potential. 
All right. So can we take you back to the statement that you um, opened up with? What potential is having the ability or showing the ability to develop into something in the near future? Mm. And can that focus be on the something? What is something? Right. So one thing about um, life, mm-hmm. and we've spoken about this before, as a man think it's so easy. Right. Now, now potential that you have is ultimately where you see yourself being and what you ultimately want to become. Mm-hmm. Now, the only limitation that restricts people from realizing their full potential is the limitations they have in their minds. Mm-hmm. People will never realize their full potential because they think, I don't think I can do this. I don't think I can ever achieve this. But then once you see it in your mind, trust you me. I, I, I remember when I started the business that I do, so many people said, ah, I don't think it's going to work. I don't think this is going to happen. And I remember what I saw, the vision was, it's going to be the biggest air conditioning company in mm-hmm. Zimbabwe. Mm-hmm. That's what I saw. And at that time, trust you me, the thing with potential, it's like a seed, the Ajgarwa Pasi. Right? It's going to take time to germinate, to grow, to become what it's supposed to be. But majority of people don't like to go through that process. And, and this is what hinders so many people from becoming what they're supposed to be. Right. But if you see it and you know ultimately what you want to be. We've spoke about uh, Muhammad Ali mm-hmm. and how he spoke things into existence and how he worked towards certain things. He had potential as a young man. And get it correctly, at the time he was saying that he hadn't actually become a boxer. He was just an ordinary individual. And then he saw something and he said, wait a minute, if I work hard at this specific craft, I can actually become great. You know, I'll even bring it closer to home. I have children and um, my son plays rugby. He's a swimmer. And he saw that, wow, I want to swim. And then he began to swim. And then we saw that there's potential in him actually becoming a great swimmer. Mm -hmm. And then what did we do? We encouraged him. We supported him. Pushed him in that direction. We pushed him into that specific direction. And now my son is one of the fastest 10 and under butterfly swimmers in Zimbabwe. Come on. So so get it correctly with potential. Mm -hmm. Potential, Yagasa, Piwa that push individually. I mean, he, he, we, we saw the potential that he had in him, mm-hmm. right? But he had to make a deliberate effort to put in the work. So potential is, has a lot to do with the amount of work you put in as an individual. Because otherwise, like we said, you know, most people, I promise you, I've shared this in my program, that um, when you die and you go to heaven, and then God um, shows you the preview of what you could have become. No, why did I not start Pai Pai? Because God has given you the ability to create wealth. But the only hindrance is your mindset, what you talk about yourself, and what you are actually doing. Now, motor carrier to driver in a speedometer, right? And Mangwano Gumira Ba 360, Mangwano 300. But you will never know the full potential if majority of us are driving at Ford. Yeah, but yeah. that's not the full potential of that motor vehicle. You know, gonna go to the max. Oh yeah. And it's the same thing in opinion. We are living comfortably. We are driving safe. Saka life in a speed limit, unfortunately. Life in you know, according to what you want. So gonna muna chipinda mdeka agenda holiday ku Dubai. Arura ra maopinion wake because of the expectations that he has. And the potential that he's maximized in his own industry for him to become and have the amount of money that he has. But where, where, where you are, you are driving slowly. Urita comfortable driving. And guess what? You are not going to reach where God purposed you to be. Yep, so majority true. of people are going to be very disappointed. Was or not? Do you have not a network company? Do you have not a network You know, uh, there, there's Steve Jobs. Mm-hmm. There's Bill Gates. All these guys. You know, Bob Marley has, has lived his life. I mean, yeah. he, he died. Michael yeah. Jackson died. Yeah. But they lived their purpose and they actually made use of their potential. But majority of us, I promise you, teacher Demba Pachenda Kudenga, one's Iwe, Diwe Waifa Nakuto die. But, but fear ye duga, do each at Kanganisa. So our, fear is a big thing in stopping us from attaining our full potential, right? It is. You so, know, be, 
between fear and comfort, mm. yeah, and, and and that whole comfort zone thing, I'm seeing like they work simultaneously. Like if you're if you're not comfortable, you're afraid. If you're not afraid, you're comfortable. You, you know, I I I get uh, very agitated with people who don't see the potential that they have in themselves, and they are very relaxed you know and i wish i say i wish i knew the people you knew i was even potential you know i i go through my contacts you can call the president but you're not utilizing your potential because there's nothing he can do for you directly which will benefit you i supply something and make use of that relationship could be fruitful Mm. But majority of us are not using what we have. Yeah. And like I said, Wagavunza people around you, what you are good at. That's a very good start. You know what? I don't know what exactly I should do. Mm-hmm. God gave every single person a gift. Every single person who exists and is alive on earth today. But then it's what you do with it that unleashes that full potential in you. So we, we look at, um, you know, I grew up. Uh, liking Michael Jordan. Mm-hmm. And Michael Jordan, trust you me, Parker Kura, he Anakubumwa at university. But then you know what? He had a lot of potential at high school. Mm-hmm. And he wasn't drafted in initially. But he worked on himself. You I know think what? that's the trick right there. As Nabasa what people say. But mm-hmm. you know what? I'm going to be so good at whatever I do that people can't ignore me. And yeah. if you look at him right now greatest basketball player of all time, this, that, and the other. But had he not utilized that potential he had in him, mm-hmm. he would have never been that great person. Because, when, you know, his fellow brothers played basketball as well. Yeah. But with him, he maximized his potential, and he really focused on that craft and worked on it, and he became great. Same Nana Tiger Woods. You know, if you look at his son, great potential. But potential is a great way act upon is the same like saying faith without action is dead. You can have great potential, but wakataza wita something ne potential ya winayo. You'll be great, but nobody will ever know you existed. Pachato da tombstone kutizeot kwa nko ina Rebecca. But kunevanu who achieved greatness and success. These other stuff that trust you me, th- that's it. The things that identify kutu no munu yanga haripo in they did X, Y, Z. You know, Steve Jobs is a great example and um, he really fully utilized his potential. Yeah. And he went all out in a short space of time. But believe it or not, we're still talking about him today. And that's the power of utilizing your potential. You have the potential to be what you want to be. But the only person who's going to hold you back from becoming that. Ndiwe. Hakuna mun. By yourself. Wega. Don't need anybody's help there. Don't blame the government. Mm-hmm. Don't blame the RTGS. Yes. Don't blame your background. Yes. Don't blame your parents. Yeah. Don't blame your husband, pastor. Don't blame anybody. Munwese any potential in them. Mm-hmm. And it's up to you to utilize that potential to reach the life and have the life that you want. But Wagasajita um, Rojo, unfortunately, you know, um, like we said, limitations only exist in one mind. Yeah. And if you limit yourself, you're going to limit the potential. And you're going to think you're moving and you're driving. But then you'll see others. Wachipura, wachindra ne upenyu wao. And then you're thinking, ah. And you know, Pandai Mboshanda um, you know, I remember so many people say, George, were well, you always an entrepreneur? Kwese Kwandai Shanda, believe it or not, um, I would always be, an, you know, is order it as a marketing issue. Please, you're not the owner of the company. Please, slow down. Is this the new route here? Diato Shandisa for doing this business. So for me, I had crazy ideas when I used to work for people. Kwesi Kwandai and I was always the aggressive guy. And it only wow. made sense later on now when I began my business and the effort that I began to put into Pro Air, which then makes it become this. At that time, my potential was being suppressed because I was working for somebody so else. So do you have that such person in your organization? Do you have someone who's, who is as ambitious as you were back then when you were working for someone else? I, I, I don't right now. Um, I think back then I was a bit ahead of time because mm-hmm. I used to enjoy flyer distribution. I used to enjoy, you know, different forms of getting um, the, the business. Out there, yeah. You know, back then I used to work for the paint people. I worked for Belgravia Service Center. Mm-hmm. So my way of wanting to reach out to people was different. 
but I was always suppressed with ah uh uh we were just say I manage my customers and this and etc. But then it only made sense later now. That was drawn. Mm-hmm. Could it that ka potential kaimbo suppress one baga? Let me and mm, guess what? Yeah. It, it it blew up and it's been something that now has really hit the waves and everybody knows about what we do. Saka so potential yako shouldn't be limited. Maybe or kubasa right now in Jalisni. Mm-hmm. And you know, maybe they don't want to do this, that and the other. But don't don't let that thing die down in you. You should use it for something else. And and, and, and here on Hustle Hard, we really encourage people to not just have one stream of income. We our, our purpose here is to get people to think outside the box. I was in employment before mm-hmm. and then I decided to unleash my full potential and I focused on a specific thing which now is doing what I love to do. And everybody is going to go through that in their life. Mm-hmm. Trust you me. But then don't, like I say, don't die and go and be told this could have been what you should do. Because I I, I really would. 19 minutes to 1 o'clock on Capitalk 100.4 FM. It is Hustle Hard with George Billionaire. And we are talking unleashing your full potential. And he says in this segment, like any other segment, we do what we call the PIE, which is to provoke, inspire, and to equip. So if you know that whatever he has mentioned so far, he was talking to you. Let me know in the comment section, 0719-104-04. Father T, Pa Highlands, how you doing? Oliver, how you doing? Anzi Beki, I'm going to be sealing here. No, I'm going to be sealing. I can't get some business done. Mama Madison Jr., how you doing? Hope you're good. Mr. Isaac Piri in Mount Pleasant, thank you so much for tuning in. Willard Kameyo in Belvedere, I hope you're doing well. Uh, Norman Watsika, thank you. I'm still trying to load that voice note and then we can um, probably like respond to whatever it is that you have sent through on the voice note. So now, Mr. George, this is the part where you then assist us, like the steps to unleashing your potential. You've mm. told us we need to put in the work. We need to work on ourselves. Um, and that cause something that we want to be is what God created us to be. But... Yeah, fear, comfort zone, those are the things that we are struggling with. But then how do, how then do I unleash my full potential? Are there steps to this? Yeah, okay. So potential is like gold. Hey? Mm-hmm. And um, you have to dig and go down and get that ah. potential and realize, could you listen, I have this thing. And once you realize you have this thing, you then put it to work. Mm-hmm. So I, I think the, the first thing I would say is so important for you to unleash your potential is one thing that I'm going to give my personal life because I think it makes more sense and it relates. All right. You will never realize your full potential unless you are around people who actually see your potential and who are actually there to nurture your potential. So number one, be around the right people. So association is so important on unleashing your potential. There's no way, I don't know anybody who ever became great who was surrounded by losers and people who themselves mm. were not making strides. Mm-hmm. And and um, just like I said, when I began, people said, wow, you you look like you're going to be a great businessman because I like the hustle and the extra work. You know, I was like, I was like, I was like, I extra like, I was like, I was like, why we're getting the same salary? Why are you putting in the extra? I got to say, relax, relax, you know. But then I got to say, because they're not working for just they're working like it's theirs. And that mm-hmm. mindset is then what makes people become entrepreneurs. If I look at so many people who have started their own businesses, their work ethic is totally different yeah. from everybody else, which goes on to number two. You have to outwork everybody else. If, if you're going to be great and utilize your potential, you have to be the person who outworks everybody. You know, um, I remember... Um, you know, and, and I'll talk about Hussein Bolt. He says the hard work is in the training. The easy part is when mm-hmm. I'm running the race. But Sakajunetwa in private is what makes you become a great person. So when everybody else is not watching, that's, what, are, what are you doing? Well, what are you doing with when your people time? Are not watching. You know, and I always say if, if I see what you do with your time, potentially I can tell what you're going to become in the future. Mm. So if you're watching TV series, wasting time doing this, that, and the other. Guess what? You're never going to... You're not going to be anything else besides that. So you have to work hard. 
you have to, without any other doubt, work hard. Okay. The third point in unleashing your potential, you have to be a person who is constantly going to keep updating your mental software. Now, mental software, you know, um, in any area or sector you're in, you have to be up to date with what's currently happening. And, um, you know, sometimes it's, it's seeing the latest trends in your industry. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's seeing what others in your sector are doing. Tell me about it. Where other people are using computers where you're still on your paperwork? Imagine like, that. Like, come on. Imagine that. Here at Capitalk, look at what they're doing. Yeah. Um, you know, you can just have a normal um, interview with an individual, but in here they've got cameras which are up to date. So mm-hmm. guess what? Radio is just not radio because people who are listening to us, are listening to us yeah. but capitalk so that wait a minute we've got potential to reach people who may not see us live who may not hear us hear live us, yeah but they would want to actually so like they watch yeah so and they, see what happens in studio see, so they saw what happened in america and then they applied it and look now we're mm-hmm. live on all social media platforms True. so it's good to adapt and you know and and, and 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 see <laughs> Adapt. Exactly what everybody else is doing. And when you do that, guess what? You're mm-hmm. going to be uniquely different from everybody else. And you're going to fully now become the best radio station in the land. Standard. Because it's not everybody who is doing what we are doing. You know, and, and, and for you to become great at unleashing your potential, if you do what everybody else does, you will have what everybody else has. And this is what makes people ordinary. But when you do a little extra on top of the ordinary, your potential will be far greater than everybody else. Mm-hmm. You know, so I have an amazing salesperson at work and, uh, you know, she's great. She she calls, gets in the office and I, I'm so amazed at the sales she's making. But she told me the first hour I get to work, I've understood this is my most productive time. I call 50 clients nonstop. And that's actually understanding her strength as an individual. Wow. So she's doing what everybody else is not doing. No wonder why she's the top sales. And she's excelling in what she's doing. So that's what happens with potential. If you know yourself and your strengths, focus on that specific thing so much. And that's what's going to totally make you different from everybody else. Mm-hmm. So no wonder why everybody else is getting ordinary sales. But here's are extraordinary. Because she's willing to put in the extra, the extra on her potential. And this is what's making her great at what she is doing so you know to people out there you know there's so many things we can go on to but it's so important to understand that potential and back to the definition so it makes sense mm-hmm. to people yeah everybody has potential munwese any potential a seed has the ability to become a tree right mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. then there are three there are three circumstances which will hinder a, a seed from growing and we'll go back to the Bible about a seed that fell on fertile soil. Mm-hmm. And fertile soil, like we spoke about, is the correct environment, right? The association. The association. The people that you're around. Right? Yeah. And, and get this correctly, potential and association are very closely related. Because people who become great are amongst greatness. Kune no dona on fertile soil, that one will grow. Kune no dona onto the roadside. Yes. Guess what? That one is not going to germinate because there's nothing around it. So you will have a great idea. You will mm-hmm. have great potential. What? Ah, I want to start an air conditioning business. And then these birds come through and take your seed. With and imagine those. Ah, in this economy. Ananas there. Yes. Imagine that. Your candle was lit, but our candle was zima that passion inside you. Mm-hmm. So those people's opinions will now determine where you end up. Yeah. And you were supposed to start the biggest air conditioning company that was going to start in Zimbabwe, you was in the Africa and around the world. But you didn't because you listened to the naysayers. And of course the last one, yet thorny ground. You know Tanga Kusumuka, but you know what? With with life, get it correctly, you are going to fail. You are going to fall down. Get it correct. Things are not going to go right the first <laughs> Come time. Come correct. You are but guess going what? to. You are going to fail. Yeah, you are going to. Akuna munu asinga failure in life. It's impossible. Everybody 
whoever became great munu amuno nari number 1 hano tanga ari number 1 yeah. aisa to gona and umwe akatoenda kuma extra lessons umwe akatoita the extra effort umwe had to do extra courses etc for them to become great mm-hmm. but then you are going to face those thorns but guess what you have to go through those specific things yeah. in order for you to become great so like if you've started a business and it's failed don't let that potential in you hinder you and say i don't think this is for me you know i, I always give an example of amai rebecca chisamba our own oprah winfrey yeah trust you me um a lot of people saw that she had great potential but when she started broadcasting for herself things didn't add up but guess what she did not give up and her story is amazing you know i'll, I'll speak about you know i like my chess or all these people one got any potential but trust you me ever sina kuramba vakashingirira on that thing yeah. we wouldn't know them today because they stuck true to that thing and they said you know what i'm going to practice and play even though kumba vairambidzwa ku play a guitar because mm-hmm. the father had failed as a musician vanga kuda kuhinda potential yemwana on what they love to do and this is the majority of problem with people out say there say it loud say it don't, loud don't let your potential don't let your flame be turned out by other people's opinions those thorns you know th- th- those rocky places make sure the potential there ko munhu wesa na it's like gold you have to dig in to get it some of you don't know what it is but vunzai people around you and i can tell you once you identify what you're good at i can guarantee you that if you work on it if you water it if you hang around with the right people sooner than later you will be put in places that you never thought because remember all of us have gifts that yeah. god gave in us and those gifts are the seeds if you work on that gift that gift will usher you into the presence of kings and um if you monetize it it can actually give you a lot of income that will take care of you Eight minutes to one o'clock, and we've got a message that came through from six four two. And the hey Becky, I'm listening to your program. My son was studying in South Africa, but during COVID, things became bad, so we couldn't afford his college fees. He was studying IT. He came back in 2020, and he started teaching himself how to do websites. He would not sleep. I think we should do this. How to do these websites, mm. right? But today. He has done six websites for clients abroad. What George is saying is very true. He has been referred to these clients through his friends. So he applied himself. He didn't give up. He was like, okay, the knowledge that I got from however many years or semesters that he was in varsity, uh let me put it to use and then expand myself from there and let's see what comes out. So now he's making websites. And websites don't come cheaper. Eh? Mm. Websites okay, the the most basic of websites like 300 bucks. Yep. So if you are saying he was just doing basic websites that's 300 bucks times six websites. Imagine that. So he, he young as he is, he's already you know like you know making money from himself and if he goes in that direction very soon he will be owning you know a company that does websites uh 465 sends you a message and says it's true i always say people i pray for god to show me opportunity rather than to ask someone for one because i believe in most cases people live around good opportunities right but they will not realize it hence they spend their whole life praying <laughs> for opportunity opportunity is in the little detail around you mm. just like me i just turned on to the radio tuned into the radio and now i'm about to ask your guest for a partnership to host a mega event and i would like an opportunity to pitch to your guest iore wow muna atoti a opportunity pana All right so um yeah. this very brave listener we've got your number down uh George will be in touch and all the best for this mega event do you have an mc for this mega event <laughs> <laughs> that you want to host do not let opportunities <laughs> passing not, of opportunities do not, regularly do not wakato yona but is this ipapo yeah you know people are more powerful than they can ever begin to imagine or think and um when you realize the potential that all of us have to become great you know so biologically speaking um i'll say this when god created you he created you a winner 
Mm-hmm. Now, when I say biologically speaking, um, you won a race in your mother's womb. There we go. And You're you, a winner. You, you, you were born a winner. Oh. And inside that winner, there's potential of becoming anything. You know, mm-hmm. the odds of you being alive, I don't think people understand. It's a wonder. There were millions of people who ran that <laughs> race. <laughs> but then, majority of people, <laughs> is what people around them are saying and what they then actually believe. You know, which is why I say, if ever you want to be great, if ever you want to really, uh, you know, um, use your potential, Mm-hmm. and unleash your potential in the right way and mm-hmm. become great your association is key i can promise you that yeah and, and the, you've and mentioned the, association a couple of times the people hey? the people who surround you determine they matter. where you end up and you know the opportunities that present themselves to you are only because of the surroundings that you have so mm-hmm. opportunities which is why i always say Go into the city and see what's being done. You will overhear something and be like, wow, let me take advantage of that. Mm-hmm. Saka association yako will always limit you. Waka wana where you are. We spoke about it last week. Show me your friends and, and I'll, I'll show you where you're going. You are. Show me your friends. And I can also tell, you know, if your friends don't affirm you and tell you, wow, George, this is great what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Or your friends don't identify. I think you should do this. Mm, mm. There's something wrong with your circle of friends. Because <laughs> make a sense. <laughs> you know, so it's important that we actually realize that we have potential in us. Yeah. God yeah. gave something in us. And sometimes, yeah, you're in somebody else's field. You are mm-hmm. nurturing what you have as a yeah. gift, as, as potential. But guess what? There's going to come a time where you need to then come out. And people then... See, be so good at whatever you do mm-hmm. that people cannot ignore you. That's what, that's what everybody be should so aim. Good. Be so good. Kutu wanuga, wakatwada MC, wakatwada aircon, wakatwada radio, wakatwada motor. They choose you mm. because you've utilized that potential in you and you've made that product or made service clear. available to people. So, you know, we, we really need to um, utilize the potential we have. True. And and we have to be able to see bigger to think bigger mm-hmm. and to also associate bigger because trust you me there's something that happens when you hang around greatness it provokes you to actually say wait a minute surely I should be able to do this and above more because look and it's the same so story so they must know something so there's, there's that yeah. they all, all they did was they stepped harder on the pedal and they mm-hmm. started going faster and guess what they became what they are to know Right, we've got two minutes left, George. As, as you were talking, this question just came to my mind, and hopefully you'll be able to answer it uh, just before the news. Mm-hmm. If you were to learn from anybody, would you learn from someone who has failed or someone who has succeeded? I would definitely um, invest and learn from people who have failed. Because people invest who have failed... Invest even? Yes. So somebody who has failed has far more lessons than somebody who just succeeded. Get it correctly. If, if ever I'm to invest in a business, I'm not going to invest in somebody who just started one business and succeeded. Because the chances of him coming back if he falls down are not going to be very high. Okay. But somebody who's fallen down many times, and trust you me, for me, Pro A was not my first business. But guess what? I've been tried and tested in the down times. Mm-hmm. So I can go on. So people who have failed will give you more lessons, what they did wrong. And, and trust you me, with the amount of mentors I've had, all of them tell you, when I was like this, I, I misused my money like this. I mm-hmm. did this, I did that, I did that. So the people who have failed have far more lessons. If you want to be great in life, look for somebody who has failed and ask, what did you do that messed up your business? Trust you me, some people may not be, you know, happy with that, but get it yeah, correctly. Yeah. If, if they are real with you, they'll tell you some of the things that they did that messed up the potential that they could have had, which then set them aside from being great and being what they're supposed to be. Thank you so much, George. That was George Billionaire for this edition of Hustle Hard. Join us again next week, Monday, for Hustle Hard with George Billionaire. It's one o'clock and it's time for the news. Hala, hala. It's your boy, George Billionaire, and you're listening to